I am honored and humbled that Mahabali and Mia Zamora, uh, two of my online facilitation heroes, friends, personas, people I have come to know through this online space, have asked me, Alan Levine, to give you some tips or strategies or moves for online facilitation. And here I am, I'm online, I'm in my square box, I'm talking to a screen, trying to talk to you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Something's happening. To do is stand by. I want to do things different. I want to break the routine. I want to do the unexpected. I want spontaneous things to happen. I'm outside. Why would be I outside to do a video? Oh, why not? Why do we have to sit in front of our screens, in front of our library books, in our offices? We're there all the time. So sometimes just the element of being different can help, not just for the audience, but for you. It does your energy something. That's what it does for me. Helps remember so, is how what a disembodied experience it is talking in 2D on that screen. You can't see people, you can't hear them. You're missing all the cues of being in a place. You forget about the natural environment that's around you. I'm not seeing a need to add those, but I have to say that when you're talking to the screen, I'm doing that now, it's like, it's really hard to sustain the energy. But then, you know, a car might go by, and that's okay. But remembering that and thinking about how you can disassemble that or disrupt that or somehow interrupt that experience where you feel so disconnected. I don't have the answer, but I think about it. I know when we do these things, we're afraid of making mistakes. We don't want to look bad. We don't want to connect with the technology. The technology will fail. You should just count on that. I often try just to make it happen because the best thing you can do is recover and just keep on going and show people that this, something going wrong, is like no big problem. It's like the most liberating thing that you can do. You'll be saved. People will think, hey, like he's like me. She's like me. There's no problem in messing up. And actually, that shows your humanity. And that's really what I want to do when I'm doing stuff online. I think I back, you know, when I started teaching, I taught alongside a colleague who just made teaching look so natural. They had a personality. They had a way of being with the students. And I first started trying to emulate that. And that never works. So you can learn from people that you see and respect and you pick and choose things. But at some point you gotta figure out, how do I bring the me to this experience? That sounds very trite and very obvious and simple. But when you're being yourself with all your ums, but it's you. So find the way to be you. Like the more natural you can be, the better your online hey, things. How you doing? No, don't do that. But there's a real strong element to learning how to greet, to welcome in a way that's sincere and real. Um, don't just read people's names, but perhaps if you know people or as you see them come in or you ask them to introduce yourselves, don't start off in silence, okay? Uh, maybe put background music on. You want people to feel like they're being taken care of or that the person's not just a presenter, so you want to go from a speaker or a presenter to a facilitator. It means you're not just the person up there doing something, you're with the people. How do you do that? Well, find ways to interact with them. Okay, it's a lot to watch the chat. I just watched one with Dave Cormier. He like responded and answered, not interrupted, but in a way that wove it into his talk. That's his style. Mahabali, she does this fantastically. She has that way of being able to communicate and do her workshop or her session, at the same time she's able to put the questions out there, make people feel like they're part of the session, not just a listener. Uh, I heard it one described as teaching online as being like, you know, your host of a dinner party, to have people do something, encourage them to use the chat, make the chat come alive. When the chat is dead, when nothing's going on, that even adds to that disembodied experience in my book. So I want a lot of action going on in my scenes and not all of it coming from me. I want the people there to make noise. I want them to contribute. I want them to feel like they can interrupt. Back. Here I am, back in my box. Well, I don't know if that's worth anything or valuable to you. I really hope you try some things, but just do your best and just try to make it as human and engaging uh, as you possibly can by being yourself. Wanna bug me or send me some criticism? you can contact me here. Bye.